What is going on, everybody? Uh, today, I'm again. I'm just super excited. This has been an awesome week for uh, for the old Scat Pack. Um, kind of giving you a little bit of a vlog style again. I know we did that in, in an older video, but today, uh, as y'all know, I I already pulled off the K&N intake that I had on the car, um, and I put the the stock filter back on. Well, why did I do that? One. Uh, as I've mentioned in other videos, uh, my IATs were just absolutely skyrocketing. As soon as I would stop moving, they, I'd be at 160, 180 degrees. And for me, that's just, I'm not too comfortable with my motor sustaining that kind of temperature um, purely for looks. But I don't know if I'm going to upload the other video before this one or after this one. But you'll see what I did to uh, really, really uh, give my, my stock intake kind of a, a unique look. And I'm not the only one that's done it, um, but I'll leave all the information for that in the, uh, in the other video. So today what we're gonna do is take off the stock intake um, and part of the, the baffling, I guess you'd call it, for the, uh, the stock setup and put in the Hellcat intake kit uh, from uh, Steve White Motors. Uh, he's got a dealership over in, uh, I call it Western North Carolina because I'm all the way on the coast, but uh, it, it's what comes on stock for the Hellcats and the Scat Packs and the SRTs and everybody else. We didn't get that. So I'm hoping that this really, uh, helps with the intake temperatures and allows uh, cooler air throughout the, the entire band. So real quick, let's have a look at what comes in the kit. All right, so as we can see here, this is the, uh, the lower portion of the intake. And right here on the front side, there's that air duct that lets uh, air not only come from the bottom, so where it normally pulls from the fender, but also from the front of the car, and it's gonna come in right here. Now, I'll show you the difference once I pull the, uh, the stock one off, but the inside of this intake is just so much smoother and overall uh, designed to pull in more air, because I think they said this uh, Hellcat stock can completely uh, use up all the air in a fairly large room in like no time at all I don't remember the specifics there's plenty of videos out there talking about it but what is this big horn looking thing well if you couldn't tell the circular part is gonna hook up right there and it just clips in nice and easy and then this portion actually goes and connects to this third piece over here now this you can see the rectangle meets up with the rectangle, all the building blocks and everything else like we learned in kindergarten. But this piece right here is actually going to replace that right there. Okay, and I know, like I said before, uh, honestly, OCD did this on his Jazz Blue Scat Pack when he still had it. Um, but uh, he wasn't able to actually give a full thorough uh, tutorial on how to do this and you know that's it is what it is I'm not bashing him whatsoever I absolutely love his videos and how crazy and everything he is but anyway so right here I took the lid off because again I don't want to steal the thunder from the other video I don't know which one I'm gonna uh, do first but obviously here's our stock intake filter this is gonna get replaced with the K&N uh, not today but another day but uh, if you didn't know this stock intake is only held on by one eight millimeter screw and I already pulled it out just for the interest of time but we're gonna pull this out and all you gotta do is simply lift it out and right there is where the air gets pulled Let's see if I can get this angle from up under here underneath the fender so that's that's awesome and everything but I'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison so here's the Hellcat intake. 
and you'll notice that all of this right here is very smooth. And you come over here and it's much more cut off. You only get this much and then it's it like flattens out, which is crazy to me because that angle right there is so much, it allows so much more air than that. Can you see that? All right, and obviously we're gonna pull this rubber, rubber gasket off to put right here. But it's a very easy swap. Uh, the kit was, I think $130 from Steve White. So I couldn't pass it up. All right guys, give me just a second, we'll get set up here. So we're real ghetto fabulous here at DJ, DJ's Triple D. So uh, I'm gonna try and just get these pins out real quick and be as fast as possible. I have my phone propped up. Uh, uh, that's, that's my camera. So once you get the, the front bumper off, you're gonna see one, two, right here, three, and then there's another one back here, little plastic uh, push pins. And if you don't have one of these, go get one. These little pry tools, I got this at, I think, Advanced or uh, AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts or, or AutoZone or something like that. They're like 10 bucks. And it's amazing for getting all the little uh, plastic push pins out. But all we're gonna do, trying not to destroy anything, is slip it behind and then you just pull the pin out, nice and gentle, because we don't want to destroy anything, so we got to reuse these. Ah. All right, well, there's one. This one came out a lot easier. There's two. Now this one down here, hopefully you can see this. This one down here actually holds this ducting to the uh, brake dust or uh, the uh, brake vent ducting that goes into the wheel well. And this one hopefully will come out fairly easy. We'll see. Oh, pretty quick. No, not too much drama there. One, two. Oh, I was wrong. Sorry. There's only three. And now this. Try and finagle it out without destroying anything. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Removing. All right. Now this great big plastic piece is out of the way. So now we're going to take our replacement piece, and this only has one, two pins because obviously. Oh, sorry. Should have shown you this before I got all dramatic. Uh, you can see where this is cut out and this one isn't. Now, could you modify this? Sure, but why not just buy the kit and make make life a lot easier? Uh, I think this is $130 worth of awesome plastics and it's so worth it. So, like I said, quite a bit shorter. You can see there and here. And my arms out of the way, but you can see how much shorter it is and it just keeps everything nice and tight. Now, just slide this underneath. Somehow, some way. This. There. All right. So now we have it all lined up. We take a little short pin. Pop it back in place. Take our longer pin. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new, uh, new intake ducting. Now, we all remember this little guy, right? So this is gonna go directly behind here. It's just gonna feed in somehow. See, I didn't do any test fits beforehand, and I should have, and I'm sorry. So I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get this in. But I'll figure it out, and we'll be right back. Okay, so after 
a little bit of heartache and not being retarded, I realized that you have to take the headlight out. Um, it's not hard. If you look right here, there's one, two, and on the bottom side, three, come over here, and where to go? Four. Four screws. They are eight millimeter. You can either use a uh, little star uh, Allen key, or I just used an eight millimeter ratchet. Now, in the Steve White kit, you get one, yes, one of these little plastic clips. Now, the the ducting itself, as you can see, is going to go right back there into the intake. But right over here, and I know it's a little dark. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. Right here. There's a spot for a push pin. We're gonna take this, and that's what's gonna keep it from wobbling all over the place. So you just slide it in, and push to here it click. Now, this is a lot more stable, which is highly beneficial. But first, 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 make sure you put the new air box in, and then as you can see, the ducting clips into it, okay? And again, I did that off camera just in the interest of time. But as you can see from right there, there it is. And it'll come next to the headlight. Now, we can take our ducting, or whatever you want to call this thing. I'm trying to do this while holding the camera. Real professional-like, I know. But we're balling on a budget, so slide that into place and as you can see it marries up perfectly and we can still get to our screw so that's perfect all right so one push pin i can get the hole to line up one right there you find the other one one so there's the duct as you can see it lines up beautifully like they knew what they were doing right at the bottom here excuse my hand boom in and now we're all set up and that's really all the install is so like I said still using the fender pull but also getting some of this cool air from the front straight in the uh, here. intake filter Boom. Right on top. So now all that cold air from the front and the ducting that's under here is going to go in underneath this and then come out and into the throttle body, into the motor. All right, y'all, got the front end put back together. Car's still up on jacks because I haven't put the front tires on or front wheels on yet. But I just wanted to let you know from here, you can't even really tell unless you know what you're looking for. But boom, look right there. Beautiful scat pack badge for starters. But as you can see right behind it, it doesn't even interrupt the airflow in any legitimate way. So, if that's one of your concerns, I wouldn't sweat it. To me, I think it looks amazing. And I hope it performs as good as it looks. So, under here is where, you know, we have the USA. Uh, we have the little ducting, and then it comes up. Let's see if I can find the right angle. Boom, right there. Hooks in and goes underneath and we can see it so hopefully that helps you if this is something you were looking at doing and maybe just weren't confident in getting it done all right guys and gals I really hope that helped um, if you're if you're interested in doing this uh, mod to your car uh, I, I misspoke earlier I said it's Steve White Motors I think that's the actual dealership but it's Steve White Parts at the end of this I'm gonna put a uh, a screenshot from the email they sent me it's got their address and phone number and contact information and everything like that or you can look on uh, Facebook I know they're there I believe he has Instagram as well um, 
But by all means, please let me know if you have any questions down in the, in the comments section below. And if this is the first time you're coming by, please, uh, if, you, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And, and if you haven't yet, I would very much appreciate you subscribing. Hopefully I can continue bringing uh, uh, really good videos for you guys and gals out there. So thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully this was short and sweet enough. But uh, thanks. Have a good day.